What's going on everybody? It's a friendly neighborhood web developer here and today I'm going to tell you how to go from this image to this image. Now you may be saying, Ben, that's the same image. Technically you're right, but the original image here is actually 1.45 megabytes and this image is only 171 KB. Now with hundreds of images across a website, that can make a huge impact on your performance. So let's go ahead and take a look at how I accomplished this. Okay, so to pull this off, you're gonna need three things. First, you're gonna need to install Node.js. Next, you're gonna need to get most JPEG JPEG encoder. And lastly, I'd recommend a shell script created by an incredibly smart GitHub user named Daniel HQ. So let's take a look and see what we need to do. To install Node.js on your computer, simply go to nodejs.org slash en slash download, choose your operating system, and then choose the correct installer for your computer. Once you've done that, you can open your command prompt or terminal or whatever the case may be and run the following command, npm install npm hyphen g. That'll globally install the npm command line interface or CLI on your computer. And once you've done that, you can run the npm install hyphen hyphen global mosjpeg command. That technically is all you need to do in order to be able to optimize images. But if you do that, you can only do one at a time. And in order to do it, you have to type in something like this, most JPEG, optimize, file name, .jpeg, and then you would choose an output name. Once you'd hit enter on that, you'd be able to optimize your image and you'd get the same result as what I showed you earlier. But I have a better suggestion. In a lot of cases, you're going to have hundreds, if not thousands of images to do. So in order to do a lot of them at once and make this more efficient, I recommend using this shell script that I mentioned earlier. Now this script is pretty cool. If you download it and put it into a folder with a bunch of images and you run it, what it does is it actually sets up a directory called originals where it stores all your original files as it's optimizing them. For all the JPEG files that it finds inside of the folder that it's in, it'll run the most JPEG optimized command that I was just showing you. To the files that are being optimized, it'll add a .tmp extension temporarily, and then it'll remove that as the file is finished being optimized. Let me give you an example. If we take our original fish image, which is 1,487 KB or 1.49-ish MB, and we run our script, you'll see it's going to add the originals directory, it'll add that .tmp extension to the file temporarily, and then it'll strip it when the image is finished optimizing. Our original file is in the originals folder unharmed. And our new optimized file is only 172 KB, which is pretty darn impressive when you take a look at the quality that we've retained. I mean, we can zoom in pretty far and it is really difficult to tell the difference. And that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.